Using an AI, I'm going to blend screenshots from various video games, starting with Mario 64 and Call of Duty. This is fascinating. What's most interesting about this algorithm is that it overlays the images and it's not like it's really blending them, right? It's searching through its database. It's searching through its training to fill in all those pixels. So in theory, we're actually seeing sometimes potentially real other games. There are elements of truth to this, which is weird. I mean, the stars and the UFOs, like, just, are those airboats? We're like storming the beaches as like a jet packed Mario here. Here, it kept the first person view a bit. Like, no, it's just, just, just chaos. So interesting. Here's Mario 64 and Goldeneye. Again, like, where's it pulling this stuff? It's absolutely finding elements from other video games. This is a third and a first person game all at once. Like, look at these HUD elements it creates on the screen. It's absolutely fascinating. We got these cool pillars here. Almost looks like a mobile game overlay here. How about Halo and Goldeneye? Made him left-handed with a blue weapon here. Why? Don't know. It creates HUD elements. It's just, this is so interesting. This is almost Half-Life-y. I really love putting this robot character over here in front of the station. Goldeneye and Call of Duty. So the best part about this is because of that Call of Duty screenshot with all the paratroopers, it just puts stuff in the sky. It's just always funny to me. It's just... <laughs> This is all these enemy characters floating. They're just floating up there. This is a whole lot of chaos, this one. Fortnite and Halo gave this. Totally unique weapon here. Totally different HUD. Also this weird purple cube thing, which was also in Fortnite, which is curious. If I were to wager a bet, I'd say there were a lot of screenshots of that purple cube event. And so it's drawing from that. Those two trees are definitely stacked strange. That's not how nature works. Pretty cool. You guys gotta let me know what games these remind you of. Cause again, it's absolutely pulling from existing information. Minecraft and Halo. This is really cool. There's so many Minecraft ripoffs that are just like this that there's probably plenty to draw from. Certainly nailed the clouds, though. I'll give it that. Again, the fact that this is real and unreal at the same time is just so interesting. Let's combine two similar games, Bloodborne and Elden Ring. Pretty cool hat on this character here with this floating like drum. It just kept that thing in. It's just like, yeah, just this is there's just going to be this drum always. This one, you could fool a lot of people. You'd absolutely fool people in thinking, oh, this is this great game on PS2. Always a unique hat, though. If you need hat ideas. You just combine Bloodborne and Elden Ring, apparently. Sticking with Bloodborne. Bloodborne Minecraft. Creepypasta. Absolutely creepypasta. I played this old PlayStation game and I ran into this strange character with blue ears. Look at this health bar. A completely unique health bar that got ripped from some game. It keeps putting this character on the left side and facing something in the distance there. I could do this forever. <laughs> I could combine so many things. Absolutely fascinating. Love this. Subscribe for more.